Nicola Sturgeon has announced her roadmap for ripping Scotland from the UK with plans for a second Scottish independence referendum. Express is asking how should Prime Minister Boris Johnson react to the First Minister's demands. The Prime Minister has so far refused to cave to Ms Sturgeon's desperate demands for a referendum on Scottish independence, telling her the previous 2014 vote must be respected and pledging to never give up on our incredible union. But determined to plough ahead with her plot, Ms Sturgeon on Tuesday announced a new draft bill paving the way for a possible second Scottish independence referendum, saying it will be published before next May's Holyrood elections. Express is asking you how should Boris Johnson react to Ms Sturgeon's demands? Should the Prime Minister give her a referendum, grant Scotland more powers, or simply ignore her? The SNP leader revealed draft legislation setting out the proposed terms and timing for a second independence vote, as well as the question that could be asked, will be produced by the Scottish government. The announcement came as part of her programme for government statement, much of which was dominated by the response to the coronavirus pandemic. Ms Sturgeon vowed to publish a draft bill, setting out the proposed terms and timing of an independence referendum, as well as the proposed question that people will be asked in that referendum before the end of this current Holyrood term. With Scottish Parliament elections taking place in May, she added, at next year's election, we will make the case for Scotland to become an independent country, and seek a clear endorsement of Scotland's right to choose our own future. The First Minister insisted Brexit and the way in which it is being implemented by the UK government immeasurably strengthens the case for Scotland becoming an independent country. She said Westminster's failure to seek an extension to the transition period, forcing this to come to an end at the end of this year, is an act of self-sabotage which we do not understand. Though her plans have put Holyrood on a collision course with Westminster because Mr Johnson has so far repeatedly refused a Section 30 order, which transfers the power to hold a second vote from Westminster to Holyrood. In the last few months, Mr Johnson has pledged his support for the union and has made two trips to Scotland. He has previously said it would be such a shame to lose the magic of the UK, insisting that the UK is better together. He said, the union of the United Kingdom, for me it's the greatest political partnership the world has ever seen. And I think what people in this country often don't appreciate is the way in which the UK is seen abroad. They don't see us as England or Wales or Scotland or Northern Ireland, what they see as great British institutions. They see amazing British armed services, amazing British diplomacy, overseas aid, British science and technology, British arts, that's the thing that is admired and loved around the world. It would be such a shame to lose the power, the magic of that union. We are much, much stronger and better together than broken up.